Hello and welcome to the SMU channel. Uh, my name is Vaji and I'll be discussing the matplotlib library in Python. One thing to note is the matplotlib library will not be included with just downloading Python 3. So what you guys will have to do is download the Anaconda uh, IDE. So it will include every library like NumPy, Pandas and the one we're going to use today which is uh, matplotlib. So after downloading the Anaconda library, what you guys will have to do is access the terminal and then access Jupyter Notebook, which I'll show you guys. Uh, on Mac OS, you have to go to the terminal. Otherwise, uh, on Windows, you have to do the same thing. You just type Jupyter Notebook and it uh, will open a notebook for you. So here, we open a notebook and uh, some of you guys will be familiar with Jupyter Notebook but if you guys aren't uh, it's just a platform where you can code Python and R and it's one of the most famous data science platforms okay now we are on Jupyter Notebook and we're going to go to the desktop and uh, create a new file so it's going to be a Python file and you just go to new you create a Python 3 file and then from here uh, we will show you how to do the matplotlib library so the first step is we name our file. So let's just call it basic plotting matplotlib. And then um, now we have to imp uh, import the matplotlib library, which does come with uh, Anaconda. And if you guys don't want to install Anaconda, then you can also pip install, uh, which is a separate function you can use in terminal. Okay, so now I'll be importing the library of uh, matplotlib. So in this um, tutorial, we'll be using the pyplot library, which is a part of matplotlib and the documentation for that, I will show you guys uh, in a while. So uh, we just import it. Matplotlib. And then uh, it's called pyplot and we can import it as anything we want. So we'll call it plt. And uh, we take a list of values for X and Y. So what we'll uh, take is 0 to 9 for um, X and 10 to 20 for um, Y. So let me just write that down. Okay, so I've uh, written that down. So now we'll be using the plot function, which is a very basic function in matplotlib and we'll be plotting the values for x and y. So it'll just be plt.plot. plt is the uh, thing we imported this library as, and uh, the plot function is the one I just told you guys about. And we just put the values x and y. And now we just run the function and it'll plot it for us. Now, as you can see here, there's an output that's given. So to get rid of this, we just, uh, we'll copy the same code and uh, there's a, function called plt uh, dot show so plt is the one we're using which is the import we used and uh, dot show will just show the graph so that's the proper way of doing it uh, otherwise there'll be a random output okay so after this um, so that was one way to build a basic plot but another way will be uh, again using the plot function but we can uh, enter the list values as itself so let's enter something like 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. And these are the x values on uh, the x axis. And then uh, the y values will be like, let's just take any 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Uh, you can take any values you want. I'm just showing you another way to do it. And once you run this, uh, I'll plot it. And again, we have to run plt.show for it to run properly. So the, this is the whole thing for that. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use this um, piece of code that I wrote and I'm going to show you how to customize this further. So what we're going to do is add a title first of all. So uh, adding a title and for adding a title, uh, what you have to do is there's a function called plt.title and we can name it as anything like basic first graph and uh, it'll just add the title in the graph for you now after adding the title what 
we can see is it's just a very basic graph with no x-axis or y-axis so to make it more uh, customizable i will show you guys a documentation file uh, i will also link this in the description so um, this is a matplotlib file and here we're just using pyplot so what you can do here is check what you want to do you can just control f it like if you want to uh, let's say do some labeling so you just go to label it'll just show you the function for the label like different type of functions there's 21 matches you go to the function you read the piece of syntax over there and you just apply it it's uh, very basic and very easy to do and this is a very uh, good library that you can use for data visualization so uh, let's go back to our plotting and uh, add x and y axes so again we're going to use the same piece of code and after adding the title uh, we're going to use uh, functions which are x label and y label so uh, these functions are just plt dot x label which is for the x axis and then um, for the y-axis, it's just y-label. You can uh, find this in the uh, in the um, documentation too. Now we'll just add uh, x-axis and y-axis to your graph. <clears throat> now we have a basic idea of uh, the plotting uh, library, which is matplotlib. But an advantage of this library is the main customization features it has. So I'll show you guys some of them. What we have done over here is uh, use the font uh, variable, which is a font dict function and it's actually a dictionary which can be used uh, in this case and what this dictionary does is we can use the same set of uh, details for uh, different functions across our uh, plot so what we're doing is we're using the serif family uh, there's different families you can check this out in the documentation again and there are so many colors that we can use and uh, the weight has to be normal in this case and the size this is the font size which is 12 in this case and uh, after doing this um, we run this and this is the new plot we have so look how much better it looks from uh, the previous code now let me show you some uh, other things that we can do now when we have large amounts of data it's very difficult to keep up with the different values that are in the x and y axis so i will show you guys a function which can make this a bit easier so uh, what we're going to do here is use sticks. So what these sticks do is uh, just replace the X and Y values to whatever you want. It can be strings, it can be integers, and um, anything you guys basically want. So um, again, just check the documentation for this. And there's a shortcut on this um, Jupyter notebook where you press shift and tab and it will show you guys uh, what values and what um, uh, things it requires, each function, what it requires. So uh, this requires uh, labels and uh, many other things. So what I'm going to do the basic parts, which is just replacing the functions. So our uh, x value, this is what, 0, 2. So we have to do it separately for x and y values. And uh, for the x values, let's replace it to something like hello. So in this case, it's like this. As I told you before, it can also be a string. So let's make it a bit more fun and uh, make it hello. And um, this, what we'll do is just replace each value so 2 will get replaced uh, by e 0 will get replaced by h and it'll be uh, different values and you can do the same thing for y values uh, which can be useful if you have a lot of numbers and a large amount of data to visualize and now i'll be adding further customization uh, to the plot by um, adding a line width 
uh, a different line colors, line styles, and a legend to our graph, which is needed. I'll get back to you guys once I write the code. Yeah, so to save the plot, you have to add something. So I'll just write add this. And this will just be a save fig function. Um, so what you do over here is uh, you name the file like uh, maybe something like graph test one and then uh, it, it's a png file and one uh, good feature that's there in this library is you can also write the amount of pixels you need so dpi is equal to maybe 300 pixels so this will also determine how sharp your image is and, uh, that's basically it for the plotting part of um, basic functions now that we have learned how to save the file, uh, what we can also do is uh, draw some histograms and bar charts. So I'll show you guys how to draw um, a bar chart first. So what you do with the bar chart is, um, let me just write bar chart. And um, so it'll have labels and values, right? So um, there's no X and Y values. Uh, there's those labels and each of the labels have values um i'll show you through the plot so labels uh, you can put anything you can put any variable you want and um, let's say part a then this will be part b and uh, there'll be part c part c and each of them can have their own values and all of these have to be stored in the list. So it's 10, 20, 30. And uh, the function we use for this, again, it's in the documentation, lvplt.bar. And you're just plotting the labels and values. It's pretty straightforward. It's very similar to the other uh, form of uh, plotting, which is just basic plotting. And we also not forget this time to write plt.show. And this is just plotting your uh, bar chart. Uh, to make it a bit more exciting and a bit more uh, uh, customizable, uh, let's add something uh, called hatch. So hatch is just um, adding different lines or different stars uh, in the uh, diagram. So what we're doing over here is just um, really dot bar labels values. I just put Oops. values so this is what you're doing so this will just be hatched and um, after hatching so each part of this can be hatched so there's part a there's part b and part c so what you're trying to do over here is um, this part a is the zeroth array this is the first array this is the second array second list like second element i'm saying second element of the list so this is the part A is the zeroth element. This is the first element, the second element. Based on that, it'll be hatched. So let's set the first, uh, this is the part A. Let's make that, um, let's make it star. This is the syntax uh, you have to follow for this, which you can again find in the documentation. So this will give it a star. And you can do the same thing with others. So. Let's add to the first element. This is part B, right? So we can add to part B and part C in the same way. And uh, so here, so I think you can do slash and um, there is an X doing this. So this should run, yeah. And uh, part B has the slash and uh, this is the X. And lastly, I'll just be discussing the histogram, which is uh, a very simple, uh, demonstration I'm going to do for this. So uh, there's X values and Y values in the histogram. I hope you guys know what the histogram looks like. If you don't, I will show you now. So let's put one, two, three, four, five, six. And then for this, let's put some negative values. So the histogram becomes more prominent and it's easy to see the values. So this is minus four and let's put minus five. And we can stop there, we can keep going. This is now five feet. So uh, one thing you have to know here is what bins values is. So bins values is basically 
speed intervals and these speed intervals are used to sort data on graphs and uh, that's a basic idea of what bins are and uh, we have to insert these bins so when we draw the histogram uh, we're just doing it like this uh, so again the short key i told you guys about earlier in the video was we can press shift and tab and we can see um, for this histogram and it needs a bins value it needs a value this is the x value which is uh, whatever we're drawing this is x and then it needs a bins value so let's put that as one so it'll be after one interval and for y we can do the same thing this is just y and uh, this and after this you can just uh, show the thing so it'll show proper output and this is how the histogram looks like so it'll separate the values this is a minus four minus three i mean a minus three minus four minus five it shows it like this and it's a different color and um, um, the other one will be shown uh, as one two three four five six in a different color so that's it for this video we can also do scatter plots and other advanced things and we can go to kegel and find data sets from there but that's a bit more advanced and this is just a basic um, introduction to plotting in math uh, lab. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, please like and subscribe and please do check out our uh, social medias.